2010. All right. Today we are adding an upgrade. So unboxing. Here you go. Another package. Get right to it. Shazam. And that's basically that. Magpul MOE trigger guard. Okay, for me, Amazon.com. $9.67. Okay. They have them in aluminum and polymer. I got the, I don't know what I got. I think I ended up going with the polymer. All right. Um, already got some furniture on here. Got the OD. I was a little iffy on trying to do the whole matchy matchy. Eventually, I'll freaking probably try to do a an OD here. Or I'll replace all this. I don't know. I'm torn, but that that's for another video. I'm just gonna do black for this. I want a little more trigger guard room for all the standard reasons. Uh, going out to the range all day. Uh, M4 carbine basic class, $125 at my local uh, tactical trainer in Charlotte and uh, it's gonna be a little cool this weekend so I need some gloves wanna make sure I got a little extra trigger finger around so that's the logic there uh, we're gonna get right into it just gonna tear in if I can get this on it's kinda of cool on the mag, on the mag pool they've got the instructions if I can uh, do it while we're here then that's wonderful if not I'll Pop the video, pause it, and then come back. Okay. Done my research. Pretty much know I got this uh, roll pin that goes back here. And I have a Allen wrench. And this thing does not come with an Allen wrench. Interesting. All right. Well, I have to go downstairs and get my Allen wrenches. I know in terms of punches, I've got my punch tools. Bought these Stanleys online again, twelve bucks, you know. Uh, and I think I need the one eighth punch, so can't beat that. All right, it's either one eighth or one sixteenth, one or the other. But let's see, I think that'll go there. It looks like that matches up. So one eighth. I'll be right back. Go ahead and, uh, and we shall resume here in a minute. Okay. Resuming. All right. So one eighth it is. It's obvious. It says it on the package. Trigger spring right here. Let's see if we can figure this out. Looks like you depress this. definitely feel the spring tension. What the hell do we do now? Depress the front spring, rotate the trigger guard down. Alright, it's definitely depressing. I don't see the... Alright. That worked. Okay. And what's next? Blah, blah, blah. Place the trigger guard. Okay, hold on. Use the same punch to drive out the rear roll pin and completely remove the trigger guard. All right, so I got my little stand right here. We're going to see if we can. Drive this out. Got a little hammer. No brute force, just minor force. So I'm going to turn this around so I can see. All right. Trying to get to a nice, snug, comfortable spot. All right, and... So the one is our pin. Give it the little tapathon here. Make 
make sure I'm not doing anything crazy. We're still on track. Let's, uh, it's coming. It's coming out of the thing. All right, it's coming out. Keep going. Almost out. As you can see, there it is. All right, let's finish her up. Okay. I think what I'll do is just position it a little bit like this. Finish tapping it out. That did the trick. All right, old trigger guard off. Mag pull trigger guard going on. Uh, I think I can try to reuse my old one. Let's see. Old one looks just like the new one. You know what they say. All right, so. Putting it on right now. I know it only goes on one way, that's that way. Okay. Roll pin. I think I'm going to put it back in the same way it came out. Alright, so I'm going to flip her over. Put her back on our homemade stand in. Big thing for me is I want to make sure I'm lined up. Don't want to be breaking off anything. Okay. So far so good. Let's try to use our pin again. That definitely is doing the trick. Just want to make sure I'm lining her up good. All right, and I'll pause the video and get her going, put the screw in the front, and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, final step. <clears throat> Using 1 16th hex key, slowly hand tighten the front set screw until it's flush with the receiver tab. Take care not to over tighten the set screw as it can result in damage to the trigger guard. Alright, so we'll get our set screw out. There we go. We got that. Okay, set screw. Don't need our uh, one eighth punch anymore. We'll put that back. Okay, and don't need our little little hammer. And we need one sixteenth hex. Well, dang. Hopefully, I have that. Get my smallest ones out here.
Why would Magpul give us one? I guess it's to save cost, huh? Alright, looks like I don't have it on this craftsman. Okay, I'll be back. Don't have anything small enough. Okay, got the one sixteenth. It's good to have tools. Got the one sixteenth wrench. Got our little hex screw. Looks like it comes with the blue Loctite on it. Obviously, we're going to get that set right here. Okay. And I'm going to get this trigger guard in the front part lined up. And we're just going to go in. Blue light tape side down. Do a light. The key here is light threading. All right. Do not over tighten the set screw. Damage to the triggered guard. Alright, so that's the polymer guard itself. I'm sure this little set screw is not gonna damage any metal. Alright. So basically, the goal is to work it until we're flush. Nothing special. Actually, this was one of the easier parts. It's easier changing this as long as you have the right tool than when it putting on a, uh, one of these Maiad or Maid grips, you know, with the screw and you need the right, t you know. It all comes down to tools, I guess. Get to have the right stuff. All right, that's perfect. I'm done. Okay. New guard is in. There it is, folks. Okay. Let me give it the test. Yeah. Can't say that my finger was rubbing on this before. But uh, definitely a little more room. Tell you what, I've got a glove right here. Let me throw on a glove. Mechanics glove. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, it's all day. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Not a problem at all. Perfect. Actually, a lot more roomy than I 